Alola, friend Stepper Driver here. Welcome back to another uh, PTCGO match. Uh, we are going to be going over a suggestion. We're going to be going over Luxio today. Now, I've tried this a bunch of different ways, um, and it's not been working out the greatest for me. So, you know, if we type Luxio, I think I've labeled everything Luxio. Try to with Zoroark, some energy denial, poison, burn, uh, Luxio Mew, what's that? With the Mew EX, uh, so having Mew EX as the main attacker. But none of that seems to be working, so Luxio is kind of hard to do. Um, this is just a Luxio list based off of Gyarados. So the general Gyarados list with Machop, Machoke, Octillery, threw a couple Mews in there. Uh, but yeah, still like just it's nothing's working very well with this Luxio item lock deck for me. Um, so I think the best option is actually you know play some Zoroarks with it, some crushing hammers and stuff. And uh, I think I'm just gonna build it from scratch though. So I'm gonna go up here, start a new deck, uh, standard. And we need Luxio in it, so let's go ahead and put Luxio in. We're gonna need uh start with a four count. Um, with Luxio, you need Shinx, so we'll grab the evolutionary one, and then um, I believe the next best one is actually where's that? The one with Roar. If you can't, if you don't have, if you don't have four of the evolutionary ones, I think Roar is really the best. It's two colorless attacks, so you can't really ask for much more. The evolutionary one, you just kind of want to evolve right away. Um, so of course we probably need Lele. Um, I don't like making this an expensive deck, but budget-wise, it just does not work very well. I mean, I guess I could replace that with like three, three nest balls. But it's it's really rough to be honest. Um, let's try it though. We'll try it with nest balls. Try with nest. Get four of these in there. Four ultra. And go with ten draw supporters. So you know that it's gonna be like I'm gonna say four Cynthia. Uh, I'm gonna say three. 3N probably and then 3 Sycamore How much is this one? There we go. So yeah, 10, 10 draw supporters we want uh, We want a parallel city so it really disrupts our opponent Let's do a four count of that. We want hammers So we'll do uh do two of those, four of these, and then we will we use them again with Puzzle of Time. Um, and we're already at 40 cards. Wow, we're already at 40 cards. Uh, yeah, I mean the trainer's selection is kind of the most difficult part of this. We have no float stones, no choice bands. And we're going to need that damage. So I think... Yeah, we're going to have to have a second draw supporter. We're going to do a couple of floats in here. At least two, and then three choice bands, I think. Or oh, actually, I do like dumbbells, though. Let me put dumbbells in here. So a little more longevity. We'll put three of them in there. And... Which means that we're going to need to have a secondary attacker and draw supporter. So, if you look at the draw support... Um, let me just fix this. Uh, draw support ability is really what I want to see. So we have more shadow. You know, let loose. Uh, shuffle your hand back into your deck. Draw four cards. That can work somewhat, but uh, I feel like it's hard to find the Luxios with that. You know, you have the general Zoroark, which is probably the most common one, one we might have to use. Uh, we have Sandslash, you know, draw a card, 
Comfy Flower Shield. What? The Sweet Kiss draw a card? Your opponent draws a card. Oh, okay, so... Flower Shield, that's interesting. You have Beware, Rake It In. And not really gonna help us. We have a Rangaroo with Instruct. And then we have Octillery. So, I mean, my thinking is, like, Octillery, Zoroark are kind of the best, uh... The best, um... Draw support. What does this Miss Magius do? When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one Pokemon, you may have your opponent shuffle his hand into his deck and draw uh, a card for each remaining prize card. So you can have them do an N. Um, I'd rather do an N myself, but that's fine. Uh, so Octillery and Zorak really seem like to be the best. Could toss in an Orangaroo just for... Um, I guess just for that extra immediate at, right, at, right at the start. But I really think we're gonna have to play, you know, a a four Zoroark here. We only have three, which means we will be playing one of the Mind Jacks. We'll play one Mind Jack with Stand In, so we can use that as a Float Stone Retreater. But we're gonna have to play, you know, four of these guys, which I hope doesn't mess up the deck too much and making it too much of a Zoroark deck. But it really is. A lot of Zorax, and look at that, six spaces left for energy. And I believe that's all we're gonna have room for is a few more energies. I might go ahead and, you know, drop a, a crushing hammer for like a flare grunt. Um, throw one of those in there. Did it go in? It did go in, okay, okay. And we might, um, I guess we'll drop another one for the Team Skull Grunt. We're gonna really wanna knock this energy out of our opponent's deck as much as possible. Uh, is there any other like energy, uh, we can type energy discard, I guess. We could play Plumerina, but it doesn't really. Okay, so, Mount Cornet from the discard pile. Pl Plumeria, uh, you know, discard t two cards. Yeah, discard two cards to get rid of an energy card anywhere on the field. Uh, I don't really want to discard the cards because I'm already trading energy recycler, uh, enhanced hammer, max potion, uh, crushing hammer, energy retrieval, skull grunt, uh, Brock's grit, special charge. We'll need one of those. Uh, jeez. Retrieval, retrieval, retriever, team flare grunt. Yeah, that seems to be it. I guess we're going to do a 1-1 one, one of each of these. And, I mean, the other thing I really would want to do is a delinquent. But I'm just not sure where I can fit that in. Maybe I take out a couple of draw supporters. And put in a... Put in a pal pad and a uh, couple of delinquents, I think. Because delinquent is strong. Oh, I didn't. Um, I think that'll work pretty well. I'm not a big fan of it because we don't have enough. Uh, There we go, four. I'd want to put at least, you know, two counters or two darks in here. I'd prefer, like... I'd prefer, like, uh... At least three darks in here. So we have seven energy count, which seems low, and it probably is low. Um, I'd prefer eight, but let's see if there's two cards that we could, like, skim. Skim off the top here. Maybe a nest ball. No, that's our setup. Because we don't have a Bridget. Uh, hard to say, hard to say. To be honest, we might not want to do the Dumbbells, and we might want to do... Well, the reason why I'm doing Dumbbells over Choice Band is because it's more of a stall deck. So you want to stall out your opponent. Um, I really don't think we need two Sycamores. Um, 
I don't really want to throw a lot away. I want to be able to bring stuff back so that one sycamore is good for that. And when you're dead hand, you need something. But uh, I think I'm just going to up that count of Cynthia. So I have... Yeah, I don't really like it, but... Par Parallel City is just too good not to play for of, so that we can always have that... Keep our, our opponent's bench low. Uh, Ultra Ball... Ah, there's nothing I really want to cut here. Nothing at all I really want to cut here. So... I don't know what to do. I guess one dumbbell is not really going to hurt us too badly. It's going to make it where we can't find it, but it's not going to hurt us too badly, I hope. And I guess we're going to go down to one enhanced hammer because we can put him back with Puzzle of Time. Uh, I don't like that, though. I'd, I'd rather have the two. Now we'll go down to one. We'll go down to one because we want that Team Skull Grunt, too. Uh, so I guess we're going to save it there. We're going to go ahead and export this deck list. If you guys want to see the whole thing, here it is, you know. We have the one Orangaroo, uh, four Zeruas, four, uh, we have three Zorark GXs, one Mindjack Zorark. We have four Shinx, four Luxio, and then items, we have Crushing Hammers, Enhanced Hammers, uh, Nest Ball, Pal Pad, uh, we're gonna go ahead and export this deck list. One pal pad, four uh, puzzles of time, a uh, special charge, a uh, four ultra ball, four parallel city, four Cynthia, two delinquents, two ends, one sycamore, um, one team flare grunt, one team skull grunt, three bodybuilding dumbbells, two float stones, four double colorless energy, and three dark energy. So we can use that Trickster GX. So where this is going to basically be a Zorark Luxio. So um, I guess I'm going to call it the Fox and the Wolf. Um, or should I say red hair, black hair? I don't know. He has more of a faux hawk. Um, I'm going to call it Canine Rockers maybe. How about that? I don't know if they're even considered K9. K9 rockers, because they have the big hair. Um, we'll pick an Incineroar coin randomly. The Zorark box and card sleeves we will be... I like the Claw Slash, but we'll, this is this is Ultra Prism, so we'll pick some Dusk Mean and the Krasma. So K9 rockers, F. I don't know why it was F, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead, put it up the top next to the guard chomp and under the crabs under the tree. It's third deck in, so we're gonna go ahead and take this to the versus ladder and see if it can do good. So we have uh, guard chomp uh, assault. Looks like a Zorark. What? There you go, Canine Rockers, number the second deck in. Canine Rockers. Let's see if this deck can do well. Um, it's kind of difficult to really set up that item lock um, in standard format. In the expanded, they have the Hypno Toxic Laser. They have the, well, the thing that Seismitoad is a basic. Um, and they have that all that HP. So I mean, this one makes it a little more difficult to use Luxio. It doesn't have the HP. It doesn't have the. Uh, I'm gonna go second. It doesn't have the HP. It doesn't have the the um, the basic. The fact that it's a basic. It's kind of cool that it's a that it's an evolution i don't know it's it's kind of cool because it's 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 a one prize attacker you won't be losing two prizes when you lose your seismitoad but you know having to set up a luxio every turn you, they basically have to take out two luxios to take out a seismitoad which i mean it it, it it adds up to be about the same you know 80 80 is 160 uh seismitoad is 180 uh your opponent had to draw a new hand, so draw five new cards, really? Five new cards? So we might have just won it off of that. What did they have? They're playing Guzzlord. 
Um, I don't think Guzzlord plays any items. And the problem with this is unless we get those dumbbells on him, they can uh, take out three. They can take it out. Take out uh, Luxio for three. Uh, three prizes with Glutton GX. So what are we gonna do here? We have our nest ball, so let's go ahead and nest ball it up. Get another Zerua down, and I believe we're gonna get another Shinx down as well. Uh, we'll grab that one. Now, I don't know how much... Uh, let's see. I'm going second. Let's go ahead and Team Skull Grunt. Of course, he has all energy. But that's really not going to hurt him. Let's go ahead and see what we have coming up. We have Nest Ball, Cynthia, and a Team Flare Grunt. Um, do I like a lot of what I have? We'll do it that way. Yeah, the question was whether or not to Sycamore or Cynthia. And this guy can't do anything. But Guzzlord's not really going to attack us next turn, so let's see what happens with this. Of course he had a Dark Energy. Sloppily. I just lost him. Oh, I hit the button to lose sound. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and evolve into Zoroark here. This uh, Guzzlord has seven energies on him. So even if I remove some, it still has a lot of energy. So we're going to have to Sycamore this turn. I think this is the, the meme Guzzlord... Uh, Guzzlord just energy deck. We're gonna go ahead and parallel city, but it doesn't look like it's gonna do very much for us. We have two nest balls, we don't need those, so we're gonna go ahead and trade the nest balls away. Try to get our shoots out here. And crushing hammer. Of course it gets tails. Uh man. Man, we're stuck. We're gonna stand in here. <coughs> And have to pass. We didn't get any energy. Any energy at all that turn. And this Guzzlord's just gonna start walloping us. Why did I put the Zorark out? I should just lost the Shinx. Alright, that's a misplay on my part. That's just a, that was just a bad idea. Cause now I have like three Shinx and uh one Zorark and that's it. Um I'm gonna have to start getting some damage on this Guzzlord. Field blower, that does I'm give it at the Parallel City. But this Guzzlord can just kind of do whatever he wants. Actually, I think he's going to Glutton here. Because Zorg has exactly 100 HP. Um, yep. For three prizes. Yikes, 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 yikes. And we're kind of stuck here now. Uh, let's just go ahead and Crushing Hammer. Does it matter? Does it matter what energy I discard? I don't think it does. Yeah, we're gonna do it that way. We're gonna use this nest ball and get another Zerua. And the question is Cynthia or N. They still have a lot of cards. We're gonna end here. We got a double puzzle, that's kind of nice. We could go ahead and grab those uh, that Team Flare Grunt and a uh, Crushing Hammer to get try to get two more energies off of him. We're gonna go ahead and grab that Trickster. Do we have a Luxio down here? We do not. Um, so puzzles, we might have to grab something in order to puzzle it away. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. Go ahead and puzzle for two pieces. Grab a... Actually, I'm just gonna grab a Flare Grunt. Maybe a Delinquent. Let's grab a Delinquent and a Flare Grunt. 
I've already played, okay, I've already played a supporter this turn. We're gonna delinquent next turn. I'm gonna grab that Luxio and finally start this item lock. We're gonna Rangaroo here for instruct. Get a Shinx, go ahead and trade that Shinx away. Okay, disconnect for 30 damage. Wow, I think this is the meme Guzzlord deck. Now, I don't think it has anything to beat up on Zorark here. We get a Cynthia. So we're gonna go ahead and delinquent. Getting out of three dark energies, of course. We're gonna go ahead and trade away the other delinquent. two cards trade a Cynthia looking for that dark energy uh, or double colors that works uh, it's not exactly what we wanted though I'm gonna go ahead and write his beating to take Guzzlord down to 80 damage left and maybe if we find that other dark energy we can glutton and take four prizes or not. <clears throat> How'd they find that? 140. So we're gonna want to get this uh, guy out of here. Puzzle time. Do we have three in here? Is that what this said? Yeah, that did say three. Uh, so we can puzzle. We can Cynthia. Let's trade the puzzle. Let's see what we get. Luxio and a DC. Throw this in on this guy. Cause I think we'd wanna switch those out. We're gonna Cynthia here. They only have one one card in their hand. All they have to do is take out this uh Zorite. Which will make it more difficult right now. And go ahead and retreat him into this other one. Get rid of the double color synergy. Because um, I don't think he's going to have Guzma or anything. Because we want him to come back into Glutton. So what can we pal pad? Let's go ahead and pal pad for flare grunt and a delinquent. We could ultra ball, but there's no reason to. We could trade, but there's no reason to. So we're just gonna go ahead and write his beating here. So he has 40 HP left. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's probably just gonna hit us for 180. And we'll probably just trade until we get that dark energy. We play three, right? We have one in the discard. Did he just eat sloppily? I wish I had a Gardevoir right now. There goes his Guzma though. Um, but this will be the game right here. No matter what attack I used, there's gonna be one knockout. He didn't end up getting another Guzzlord out the whole time. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that. That was not the way I wanted this deck to play. And that was kind of a pity win, I guess. So let's just try to play it again. That's my thinking. Just 
play it again, see if we can get more of an item lock on this one. Hopefully the game won't last as long either. And they're playing the Zora coin. Velocity Scout. You lost the coin flip. That is fine. I want to go second anyways. I'm going to go second so I can try to get that first turn item lock. Just doesn't look like I'm going to. Let's go ahead and start with the Zerua. I have a dark energy I can stampede for a single dark energy. I can go ahead and throw down the Oranguru. And we'll try to whittle down our hand here. Buzz Swole. We have our double weakness against that Buzz Swole. So we're going to want to... We're going to be playing that Energy Denial first and foremost in this list today. We're going to Team Flare Grunt immediately. We get a Nest Ball. So we're going to get a Nest Ball. And go ahead and evolve that... Or grab that Shinx. And evolve it right away. And uh, the question is Stampede or... Stampede or Disconnect. We're going to go ahead and let's play the Team Flare. Get that rid of that energy. I'm going to go play Puzzle actually. See what we get. We get two Ultra Balls and a Parallel City. Let's grab the Parallel City. And then the Ultra Ball second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw it on... We're going to throw it on Zerua. Go ahead and instruct and throw it on that parallel signal. Stampede for 10. So unfortunately Buzz Hole does attack with one energy. But as long as we keep it denied that he cannot do any of the big attacks. And he's probably going to, with one energy, he can knock out Zerua here. But I mean, with one energy, he could have knocked out the Luxio as well. So it's kind of a, this double fighting weakness is not necessarily a good idea. He gets a Zygarde. And Floatstone. And Choice Band. And Fighting Energy, right? An N. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I don't really have anything in my hand. Ultra Ball Cynthia. So I could get one Zoroark out, but... It doesn't really help me. So there we go. There we go. We got... Those on a regular energy. Jet Punch for the knockout, and then does 30 damage. Oh, no. He actually goes after the El Ranguru. So let's go ahead and item lock this turn with Luxio. Throw that Zerura down. We have two uh, Fighting Fury belts. I think we're gonna go ahead and grab the Grunt and a Puzzle. Or maybe I should grab the Energy so I could disconnect for free. Um, or for instead of the DCE. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Uh, puzzle would be nice. But we're gonna go ahead and grab Flare Grunt and the Dark energy. So we can play that flare grunt. Play that dark energy. Keep the ultra ball. Because I want to use everything next turn. And disconnect. Bringing him down to 150, which means if we get a choice band. We're not going to get a choice band to Zoroark because we don't have a choice band. We're playing dumbbells, not choice band. And we'd still have to fill up our bench, which is not not the simplest right now. Alright, so let's throw out Zerua. Enhanced Hammer. Shinx. Double colorless energy. Zoroark. Um, instruct. Dumbbell is delinquent. Um, delinquent might be good here. 
I really would prefer to fill up the table. Um, let's trade delinquent. For a sycamore. Okay, I can do I can deal with this. Still are gonna get end up throwing away the Ultra Ball. But at least we're gonna get a full hand here. We can start start moving along. Start moseying along here. So we're doing 80 damage to him. We got a crushing hammer for the following turn. We're doing 100 damage to him, so he has 40 HP left, right? 50 HP left. So we would have, if we would have had a choice band, we could have used taken a knockout with Luxio next turn. Man, getting that energy every single turn. Field blowering that parallel city and those dumbbells. Choice ban, because <clears throat> we didn't put the item lock on last turn. Getting rid of a lot though. Lycan rock, that kind of stuff. Got the Reggie rock down for that jet punch. Boy, is that a strong jet punch. 180 with one strong energy. That is craziness. Let's try to get rid of it. Ah, missed. Um, I don't see anything else set up. Let's see what kind of energy he has in his hand. None, but he has porters up the wall, zoo. So that is bad for us. That is really bad for us. Let's trade an in away. We get another Zorark. And a Nest Ball. Nest Ball, we can grab a Zora. Zorua here. We have another trade, so let's trade Cynthia away. Get another Cynthia. Okay, uh, looks like all we can do, we're gonna ride to his beating and take a prize, and uh, giving them a prize. Seriously, 50, is there anything? Could he hit for 50? Absolutely not. Um, uh, I don't wanna give up this Zoroic, but I'm gonna have to. Kinda wish I threw in the Mew. Uh, EX right about now because Mew EX could do well for us. So they're gonna have to hit an energy with one of their things. They're looking in their prizes, they think it's in there. Please don't have an energy. Nope, there was an energy in there clearly. And go ahead and side guard, throw down the energy, and knock out this. Zorg. Alright, question. What's the one to go with here? What's the one to go with here? Uh, let's throw up the Shinx. Because worst case scenario... Alright, I have the Luxio. Can nest ball for that last... Oh, the Shinx here. DCE. We have two of them down here. We do not. We only have one, so we'll hold that. We're gonna end here because I want him to have less than that many cards. Go ahead and crushing hammer. Get a tails. All of our puzzles are there. Let's trade away this puzzle. Get another Luxio. And that's unfortunate. Um, they're definitely going to be able to pull an energy next turn and knock us out. We're going to disconnect here. Get some damage on him. Kind of sucks. Yeah, they get the strong. So we're gonna have to figure out a way. Oh, they're gonna take out the Zoroark here. Cause they do 70. 
Yeah, they do 70 damage to themselves. Ah. There's a game, there's a game. That's how you lose the fighting deck, so we tried. We tried our best, but that just did not work out in our favor. Uh, just that one energy attachment. It's really strong, guys. Really strong. I didn't even use their Zorak, so they're they're taking a note from like what's the best GXs and putting Zorark with uh, Buzzle. That looks like a clunky deck. They must not have like any draw supporters. Eh, they have quite a few. Ah, plain, plain and basic. So I forgot to put Guzmas in my deck, I think. But there you guys go. There's a nice Buzzle deck. Sorry if I couldn't make Luxio look a little better. But it's just it has does not do a lot of damage output, and it has it's really difficult to get set up. Um, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a lot, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good day now. Bye bye.